Hi, Fred B. here, and this is the power supply board for a Johnson 250H Millennium Guitar Amplifier. And I recently sold the amplifier that this belongs in to somebody on eBay, who then apparently broke it the first time he turned it on by... Well, I'll explain that. All the rest of the amp looks fine. All of the components here on the front side of this board look fine. The only damage to the amp, the guy bought the thing and he said he turned it on and it blew a fuse immediately. So instead of calling me up or, you know, contact me and said, hey man, your thing blew a fuse, why did that happen? He just went out, bought some more fuses, put a new fuse in, and turned it on again. And this time it blew the fuse and he said, smoke came out of the back of the amplifier somewhere around these are the direct outs where these come out of the amplifier. So, you know, when you buy high-end amplifiers like this, this was a $1,500 amplifier to begin with, it has a solid state output. The first thing you do when you're dealing with, you know, valuable amplifiers is if the amp blows a fuse, you stop and you find out why it blew a fuse before you put another fuse in and attempt to operate the amp again. You find the problem, you fix it, then you replace the fuse. This is what happens when you ignore what you're supposed to do and you just throw another fuse in and try to make the amplifier work again. All right, a bit of a rant there, but... So, on the other side of here, we can see what actually has happened. And let's put a... There's eight output transform transistors, and these are bipolar transistors. The design is about 15 years old. Uh, okay, and let's zoom in here. And what we can see here is two scorch marks here on the PC board. This is on the edge of the PC board, where jets of gas spewed out from where the leads are meet the plastic package of these transistors when the transistors expired. Now, the, the four transistors here the four transistors on this one side are for, this is a stereo amplifier, so that's for the left or the right channel. And the four on the other side for the other channel. There's two transistors in parallel. It's a push-pull output. You have two transistors in parallel on each channel. These are tip, these are PNPs, I think, tip 147, and the complementary are the TIP. 142s. Now, I told this guy before he demanded eBay to give him a full refund <clears throat> that I would fix the amp without charge for labor. Usually I charge 60 bucks an hour for labor on amps and stuff. So I said, I w you know, I'll give you labor free and I'll just charge you for parts. As it turns out, these two transistors are $1.80 a piece. So the total charge for parts would have been about eight dollars to order the parts from, you know, including the shipping from an electronic supply house. And I even volunteered to pay the return shipping of the amplifier back to him, so he would have only had to pay one way, and so he could have had this thing fixed for forty bucks. He only paid four hundred dollars for the amp to begin with, so he got a five or six hundred dollar amp fire for four hundred bucks. Would have paid an extra forty dollars for his own, you know idiocy. You could have had the thing back. All right. Kind of ranting. Now, the only thing I can s figure out, these are not cracked at all. It's just that they had, the gas had expired from them. The only thing I can think of that would have caused this is if he hooked this channel up to a dead short or something of extremely low impedance. 
Uh, and when you turn the amp on, because it's solid state, it just, you know, it exceeded the dissipation rating on these two transistors. That's all there was to it. You know, they go kind of quick. And, and he had to do it twice. Not only did it not go first time, he had to do it twice to kill the transistors. Alrighty. So the repair on this amp will be simply ordering some more. I contacted an engineer at Harman and he said that I can just use two out of the bin, meaning that I can use unmatched transistors here to replace these two. So I'll order some more, replace them. I can even use the same silicon rubber insulating pads over again. So for about $8 I can fix the amplifier and I'll sell it again to anybody but this guy. All right, I guess I will uh, make another video here showing when I put the amplifier back together and showing it in working condition <laughs> after I get it back. I made a video showing it in working condition before I sent it to him and now it's going to be in working condition after I get it back from him again. Egads. All right, thanks for watching.